Windows XP tune-up video number seven. Uh, today I'm going to show you a few more things and we'll be complete with our series of videos here. Uh, the first thing we want to check is we want to check and make sure that our hard drives are operating optimally uh, with uh, DMA mode which is direct memory access. So let's go ahead and uh, choose a start menu and right click your my computer icon and select properties. We're going to uh, choose the hardware tab and under the hardware tab you'll see the listing for device manager. Go ahead and select the device manager button. Okay, the item we're going to be uh, looking for in here is the uh, IDE ATA ATAPI controllers. And if you'll go ahead and select the little plus sign next to that item, that'll expand it. Okay, and you'll see a few things in here. Uh, what we're really concerned with are the primary IDE channel and the secondary IDE channels. In here I show two because I have a RAID controller and and it uh, operates a little differently than a normal uh, system. So in your system you'll probably only see one of each of these. And the first thing we want to do is right click and choose properties on the first item. And then we're going to choose the advanced settings tab and we want to make sure that the transfer mode uh, under device zero is set to DMA if available as well under device one we want to make sure that DMA if available is selected if you've changed those uh, as you can see they're already enabled in my system if you did make change to that uh, you will need to select OK and it's probably going to ask you to restart your machine and we'll go ahead and check the others to make sure and we have DMA if available and DMA if available once again if you change those select OK rather than cancel and we'll go ahead and check them all once again, DMA if available, DMA if available, and select OK. Uh, you may be prompted to restart each time you make these changes. Uh, go ahead and uh, perform that restart each, in between uh, each setting change. And now that, let's see here, one more. Okay, we're going to go ahead and close this out and close the device manager as well as the system properties. Another handy way to uh, do a lot of the maintenance that we've already completed as far as temporary files are concerned is to use the system cleanup utility and let's go ahead and uh, show you how to invoke that by opening my computer you can right click your C drive and select properties and here on the main page you see this option for disk cleanup go ahead and select the disk cleanup button it's always good to do this at least once a month uh, is what I would recommend if you do a lot of searching on the internet and and uh, do a lot of work with uh, installation of programs or even in Word or the Office products uh, it can create a lot of temporary files and you should do this at least once a month you may want to do it twice a month and here of course I use this uh, option constantly so there's not a lot of information here you see that it uh, will remove downloaded program files, temporary internet files which we showed you another way earlier, office setup files, it will clean the recycle bin and delete temporary files. So once you have uh, opened that program go ahead and, and make sure that these items are checked. I do not recommend using the compress old files. Uh, when you compress files it does take your computer longer to access those files. So if that is uh, selected, I would deselect it. Once that's complete, go ahead and select the OK button. 
And it says, are you sure you want to perform these actions? The answer is yes. Okay, and that completes that aspect. Um, let's see here. Under the uh, Tools menu, there's another option here for defragmentation. And we can go ahead and select the Defragment Now button. And here you have a couple options. Of course, make sure your, your C drive is highlighted. Uh, if you do have more than one drive, my D drive is a compressed image uh, uh, drive. It just basically holds an image and cannot be scanned or defragmented. But if you do have a, another drive that you uh, store information on, you can run this process for that drive as well. So go ahead and uh, highlight your C drive. And you can hit the Analyze button for a, a short little report. And here it says uh, analysis is complete for the C drive. You do not need to defragment this volume. Now if it's been more than 30 days since you last defragmented, regardless of whether it tells you that you do not need to defragment this volume, I would recommend defragmenting. And go ahead and select defragment on that menu. And the process will start. Now, depending upon the size of your hard drive and the speed of your computer, as well as how much uh, installed memory you might have, uh, this process can take um, an hour or more. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this while this runs. Okay, that took about 45 minutes for my system. Uh, as you can see, the defragmentation is complete. And I'm going to go ahead and close this window as well as closing the utilities. Now for many of the uh, utilities and operations we've completed, uh, there is a utility that can uh, aid you in these processes. Uh, we're going to go ahead and review that program and run a couple of the utilities on it uh, having to do with registry cleanup. So if you'll open your Internet Explorer, <coughs> And once again, simply uh, open uh, Google, and we're going to type in the address in the address bar of www.pcpowersuite.com, and choose the Go button or Enter. <clears throat> And you can use a free uh, trial of this program. We're going to go ahead and download the free trial. And select Save and choose your save in location, which mine is the desktop. And select the Save button. Okay, that's complete, and I'm going to go ahead and close the Internet Explorer window. Now you can double-click uh, the uh, installer to invoke the installation process, and select Run. And it's notifying you this is the installer. You can either click Next to continue or Cancel to exit. I'm going to choose Next. Be sure to read and agree with the uh, license agreement.